Hi, my name is Colby. Welcome to another one of my 10 minute YouTube tutorials. In our tutorial today, we're going to learn how to paint a reflecting line of trees. All right, so step one of our trees reflecting on a lake landscape is to first paint the sky. So I'm going to take some clean water and put a wash of clean water on my paper, which I've already taped down using masking tape so that it keeps the paper taut and prevents it from buckling quite as much. Now that we have the water down, um, the sky for this piece is just going to be blue. And we're just gonna kind of keep it simple and focus on the reflection. So I'm taking some watery phthalo blue. Um, you can also use Prussian blue or honestly any other kind of blue. I just like to make it a little bit more watery. So it's kind of like a, just like an airy sky blue is what we are going for here. So I'm painting the sky blue and I want it to be more blue at the top and a little bit less at the bottom. So if you can see, I'm using enough water in my blue paint that honestly, it's, it's more like I'm tinting the paper blue than anything else. And for sure, the color gets lighter as it goes toward the middle. You can even use your paintbrush with some clean water and leave some white spaces to kind of, you know, either mimic clouds or some kind of texture in the sky. Either way, we're going for a pretty classic sky blue color here. And now that we've painted the sky, I'm going to let it dry and then move on to the next part. All right, now that the sky is dry, I'm going to focus on the next layer, which is a layer of trees. So first, before we paint any of the trees, I'm just going to take some clean water and with my paintbrush, draw a line, or rather paint, paint a line of water right across my painting here. I don't want this to be too watery. I want it to be damp enough so that my paint when it comes down it will kind of bloom down here but not quite so damp that or watery that the paint goes out of control so once i have the water down then i'm going to take a smaller paintbrush for my tree color i'm using this perylene green which is a dark dark green and i'm just going to paint right on top of the wet I mean, right on top of the dry part of my paper and into the wet portion. And I'm just going to paint a whole line of these, you know, little blobby little trees. They don't all have to be full trees. In fact, I recommend when painting a line of trees, making them purposefully have different shapes. If you hear my son grunting in the background don't mind him <laughs> he just wants to be he wants to join the party so the key here is to make sure that the trees are blending down into the wet portion uh, this isn't the only thing we're going to do to kind of mimic that reflecting pool kind of look and right now it looks like this wet part has dried, so I'm just getting my larger paintbrush and re-wetting it. Sometimes that happens. So I can keep painting my trees. Next up, we are going to re-wet the bottom just underneath these trees right here with clean water and go ahead and put the water down all the way to the bottom of your paper. 
And starting from the bottom, we're just going to kind of paint a super textured, wishy-washy um, blue right up to the bottom of the trees first. And we're purposefully leaving some white space in here to kind of mimic the look of, of water, really, because this is supposed to be like a lake. And then while the water is still wet, take your small paintbrush again and just along the ridge line, just underneath the trees, you don't have to completely um, accurately paint these trees again. We're just kind of generally painting what they would look like. I mean, we're painting their reflection, right? So, but you don't have to paint them exactly as you painted them before. We're just kind of tapping our paintbrush and utilizing the wet on wet technique to get the gist of what they would look like in blurry form. And so I'm just quickly going across these trees and letting the paint work for me and to create this blurry, <laughs> my son's really excited about watercolor, to paint this, these blurry representations of these trees. And remember that the more water you use, the more, the less you'll be able to control the paint. But then the less water you use, like if you have only pigment, it's going to be hard to move the paint around at all. So the wet on wet technique is definitely something that's worth exploring and experimenting with. Okay, now while the water is still wet, wash off your small paintbrush and using only the damp paintbrush so it's clean but not too much water you're going to paint just a few lines across these reflections with the clean damp paintbrush and what that's going to do is kind of i i guess create like a rippling effect so that it looks like you know, the water's rippling, but be careful not to use too much water because if you use too much water, it's going to look cloudy, like the water's gonna get away from you. You wanna try to create as much as possible lines that you can actually see through these trees. And those lines then are going to help with the reflection effect. Okay, and once you feel pretty satisfied with the lines in the water, go ahead and dry that layer. We're going to use black paint to paint the shadow, basically a really large silhouette of a tree right kind of in front of, right on top of the layers that we've already painted just to you know, create contrast and to create depth with this scene. This is one of my favorite tricks with landscape scenes is to use dark colors to paint, to create, you know, frame subjects right on top of your painting, just to kind of put things into perspective. So I finished this painting by painting three trees that are kind of obstructing the view of the reflection pool, but also just focus, help your eyes focus on the depth and see the rippling reflections in the lake. So I used black for these trees and I only did three of them and I tried to make them kind of different sizes. So this one's the biggest one and then I had this one only partially in view. And that wraps up this mini landscape tutorial. If you enjoyed painting with me today, feel free to tag me on Instagram. My handle is this writing desk. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, um, please feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hear and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more art tutorials from me. Thanks so much. See you next time.
before we go, let's see the tape peel. All right, now we are officially saying goodbye for, for now. So I will see you next time for my next 10 minute tutorial.